What's good, everybody? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Junk. So, Little Dirk is always in the news uh, for all the wrong reasons, like people getting killed. Gunshots, Peter! Yeah, like stabbed people dying stuff like that that's what Lil Durk is pretty much known for and at least with him he lives what he talks about so if it's about you know this murder and the murder game and stuff like hey congratulations Lil Durk you're really with the shit like I'm really proud of you that's great just don't shoot me bro I mean I don't have any you know any problems with you at all at all if you want to be a buffoon go ahead and do it but there's a story that's breaking guys about him and cheating on his baby mama uh, India with an alleged transgender. Now, this photo that you see is allegedly Little Dirk or a man resembling him um, walking into somebody's place. This person with this uh, with these terrible sandals on his blonde weave, and that definitely is what he had on that day. So that definitely is Little Dirk in this photo here. Um, but. And then he posted a, a picture of him on Instagram that said dangerously in love with India. I don't know if we can still get that up there, but that's what, you know, little Dirk is, is doing. But the thing is that people are trying to push out that, hey, little Dirk is dealing with transgenders. This is not Darius McCreary, who he was kissing um, the Sydney, Sydney, whatever. I forgot Sydney's name, but Darius McCrary was grabbing on Sydney Star's booty and kissing her. I seen I seen the tape. So Darius McCrary can't tell me he don't like transgenders because he does. You had your tongue all down the throat of one. I saw it. Little Dirk, not so much. I don't think that's the truth. And I'm gonna tell you why I don't think it's the truth. Because number one, Little Dirk has like 85 kids. All right. But the number two thing is, and I want to tell guys, if you're in Atlanta, it, don't don't take this serious. You could accidentally be tricked. This is this is just a theory. I have a homeboy from Sacramento. I won't call his name. Let's just call him Justo. He told me he don't even deal with chicks unless they got kids. I said, why? He says, because I got to make sure that they were born a chick. Okay. So in Atlanta, with, I would assume, some of these procedures that's going on, and we are in the moment where there's not just male or female. It's cis female and it is trans female. Okay, what I think that can also happen in Atlanta is a place where, I mean, this person could be doing business with Lil Durk, taking him somebody else. Who says that even as a transgender person? But that person could be opening the door for somebody else. The LGBT community is huge in, in, in Atlanta. But there's a lot of dudes I feel. And I would say in 2021, you could be in Atlanta, I would assume and be tricked on a dating app on um something and you wouldn't even know that that's at first a chick and you can go to the date and then maybe you not figure something out because everybody can't tell i would assume okay like everybody probably couldn't tell and i think what happens is People in Atlanta will know that they not will know that they're trans and then won't tell a person that they're not quote unquote cis. Okay. And then they get hollered at or something like that, and then come back and say, Oh, little dark is this, little dark is that. Right? That's why my partner said he don't even mess with no chicks in Atlanta that don't got kids. You know what I mean? 
I mean, I can believe that. And and that's what I'm saying. Like Atlanta is one of those places that's real, just off the off the charts. It's different than other places. Like you know, if you in Africa, you ain't gonna have to, you ain't gonna be dealing with that, for sure at all. You know what I'm saying? Like never gonna be dealing with that in Africa for the most never. And Atlanta is like uh okay booty a little bit too big you like uh and i've never been to atlanta but i would i would assume if i see somebody that's just like super ig model thick i'm like uh you know because one bad move and you're a war star you know what i'm saying one bad move and i think this is another reason why a lot of dudes in the atl or guys that's like already on, this might be a reason why certain superstars mess with just certain chicks they know that got a big following, um, certain groupies. Cause you ain't gotta worry about like, you know, what's gonna happen if you come out and you get exposed for dealing with the wrong, you know, you dealing with trans women and you you pose to be a, a hood rapper. So I think that it's cap. I really think that it's cap, okay? So, um, I don't know, man. Like, and I would just say this to, to, to guys, man. Um, like even me, I gotta start being careful who I comment on, on this YouTube page. Cause I'm like, Oh, thanks boo. You know how I me, mean? I'm, I'm really thirsty right on here. And now I'm like, uh, I gotta go. You know, if I see somebody look too good, I gotta go to the page. And it's not that I got anything against anybody, but you don't want that because Next thing you know, it's like, oh, people start calling you this, start calling you that. You know what I mean? And that's why even I'm going to tell you like this. It be chicks on here like, oh, I like your videos, emailing you like, yo, um, can we talk? And I'm like, uh, you look good, but I don't know. Because all you got to do is have one of them and like, oh, O'Shea was in my inbox. He was doing this and he was doing that. And then come to find out that that person is, you know not what they call sis and then you got thousand videos exposures i end up on all the reaction channels and stuff you know and get, getting dragged for views you know what i mean but hey just letting you know so what you know what do you guys think man do y'all think that little dirk is out there i don't think the brother's doing that man i think that's the cap on my brother but um i mean he needs to stop you know his music is getting everybody killed out in chicago but you know, being like that, I don't think that's him. I think that, you know, he's good. But what do y'all think? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Drunk. I really appreciate you for all that you do. Subscribe at the bell. Check out the first company at the top. And as you know, the buffoonery remains at an all-time high. I'm out.